Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again returning to our topical weather analysis for this Friday through Monday, July 24 to 27, 2020 and this English version is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set beginning today, Friday through tomorrow, Saturday we have here an exceeding uh, surface trough in the vicinity of Palawan, Sulu Archipelago and viewing some thunderstorms across the areas including the offshore areas of Bangsamoro and the Kalayan Island Group. So expect some severe thunderstorms across these areas and the rest of the Philippine Islands will remain uh, fair with uh, increasing cloudiness in the afternoon or evening with possible chances of Rain showers or thunderstorms, particularly in most parts of Mindanao. We have here a uh, high pressure area, it's a small one, bringing some good weather over the northern portions of the West Philippine Sea. And we have here a frontal system moving across South Korea and northern Japan. Elsewhere across the Western Pacific, it's all clear. We only have a couple of surface troughs, but it's not expected to become a low pressure area or a tropical cyclone. So it's all clear for the next 5 to 10 days. So just uh, be careful for some lightning strikes and possible uh, flash floods during the event of a severe thunderstorms over your expected areas and that's the latest uh, graph set and as we look at our fast animation you can see here the uh, thunderstorm activity all across the Philippine Islands particularly in Mindanao and portions of the Visayas and also here in the area of the trough over Palawan and the usual areas of western Luzon and as we look at our zoom in satellite animation from windy.com, this is the UMET sat satellite for the past six hours. This is the animated uh, version. So you can see here the uh, trough in the vicinity of uh, Palawan. And uh, as the uh, afternoon uh, progresses through the evening, we could see strong, severe thunderstorms in most parts of Mindanao, Visayas, and Luzon. And as we look at our uh, three-day rainfall and uh, wind forecast from ECMWF courtesy of windy.com. Tomorrow, Saturday, you could see still uh, afternoon uh, thunderstorms occurring in most parts of the country. And on uh, Sunday, same weather situation until Monday. There's nothing to uh, report about, just the usual localized thunderstorms when the afternoon sets in. And before we leave you, here's again the latest global topics, hazards, and benefits outlooks from the Climate Prediction Center of the NOAA, United States. And we can see here from week 1, valid from July 22 to uh, July 28, the low average rainfall will still prevail across the Philippine Islands with no tropical cyclone formation in sight. Now on week 2, valid from July 29 to August 4, we still... Uh, don't uh, see any uh, tropical cyclone development over the Philippine Sea and Western Pacific. But you can see here over the West Philippine and uh, South China Seas an increasing likelihood of above average rainfall. But this is still under moderate chance. So watch out for that. And before we end this weather TV update, here's the latest windy.com ECMWF 3-day rainfall accumulation through Monday. You can see here that... Uh, Lots of rainfall will still occur, especially in the afternoon or evening in most parts of Luzon, Visayas, Palawan, and Mindanao, particularly the central and western sections due to local convection which produces these severe thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. So that's the latest from the Weather TV update of Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua reporting. See you again on Monday. Stay safe always. Happy weekend to all. And thank you for watching our YouTube channel.